Hi YouTube. Oh, hi YouTube. I'm Udoka. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share my own personal life journey and mental health journey as well as reacting to stuff on the internet <laughs> and giving my sometimes unpopular two cents on it. Um, I found this YouTube channel called Illum Illuminati and they're showing more contradictions of Trisha Paytas. And I thought, yeah, you know what? This might be fun to react to because no, I will not be reacting to her new video with her discussing the musical Evan Hansen or whatever. I don't like watching her videos anymore. Um, I just don't like it. And if I seem kind of out of it, I, I am. I just got back from um, a K infusion. K starts with a K, ends with a etamine. I've uploaded several videos about my journey using K for my drug resistant depression. And I'm trying to sober up. I'm trying to like not appear as if I'm like stoned out of my mind because <laughs> I have to get on a Zoom meeting within the hour. So I thought, you know, this might be fun to do. This might be fun. Let's let's check it out. So every lie Trisha Paytas told on Gabby Hanna's podcast. Number one, claims she doesn't talk to drama channels, but invites them over for collabs and refers to them as her friends. I yeah, I don't, I don't really talk to drama channels because I always think that that's when it starts sounding like you're feeding them or like trying to manipulate them. So I'm just like, oh, write yeah. whatever you want about me. Like, I don't know. I Shane was shit talking me because I was friends with Peter Mon and I was just like asking him if he invited Charles Gross to this like Christmas party. Peter Mon actually did such a spot on video and I, I sent him a message and I, I just want like to be told. If you don't know who Peter Mon is, he's a drama channel. He's that, um, he's a man blue eyes and and white hair peppered hair and and facial hair and he's one of the channels that i suspected trisha paytas of paying off um when this when mysterious t first dropped her video and a couple of days went by and i noticed that n these drama channels are not commenting at all i'm like this is huge like this person just made a video showing that Trisha Paytas says, look up Mr. R. He was arrested for X, Y, Z. And this turns out to be not true. The, like, I just felt like this is huge. How come these channels aren't reporting on it? And Peter Mon is one of them. And people were telling me, oh, Udoka, they're probably not reporting on it because they're friends with Trisha. If she's not paying them, it's because they're friends. And I was like, really? These people are friends with Trisha Paytas? Well, now Trisha has blown the whole thing out of proportion. I think if we were in an alternate universe, Trisha would have just completely ignored this mysterious T thing. Um, even if Ethan made his tweet about how, you know, oh, some of the things Trisha said were not true. So we're going to remove that certain particular podcast even with Ethan's tweet if in an alternate universe Trisha just completely ignored all of it and you know got it taken down like she did but silently not even commenting on it I I still think these channels like Peter Mon and and honey what's that dude who puts the white under his eye that guy I just think these T channels would not be reporting on it if Trisha hadn't just blown everything up so big, so much with her histrionics. Total, like, transparent. And I sent him a message not to be like, thanks for, like, it was like, it wasn't even like, thanks for defending me. I was like, thanks for saying that. Okay, so they really were friends, shit. I mean, if you go, on, if you on her kitchen floor, you her friend. 
<laughs> I don't know how I would feel. Like, imagine some rich YouTuber asked me to come over. I don't even know what I would be thinking or feeling. I, would, I don't even know. What would I do? I don't even know what I would do. But yeah, that definitely explains why they were kind of hush-hush. Like, it's kind of like that creep show art thing. Um, a lot of people who you would think would talk about it weren't talking about creep show art. And it's kind of like, you know, they just, creep show art was their friend. They just couldn't believe that their friend would do X, Y, Z, but your friend did. You ain't friends no more. Claims the friendly tweets that Gabby brought up don't exist when they do. Yeah. I know this one. Maybe sure. I like read too much into it, but like we talked quite a bit every time me and gabby hang out we never get a selfie together and i'm like like we're we were friends i, think I thought are, I think maybe these are like photoshop tweets because i definitely never said no, they're that. still up <laughs> i need to see these tweets there's no way i tweeted we'll that look them up. Mm -hmm. yeah she uses like she has some fake persona in her head that never does anything and she uses that as evidence that she didn't do something when actually you did yeah, you liked Gabby. Like, you can't tell me if somebody's making these tweets about you, you can't tell you can't tell me you wouldn't figure out we're f at least friendly acquaintances or you know, at least this person wants to be my friend or it's, we're trying to develop a relationship here. As much as Gabby is a really bad manipulator, like she's not good at manipulating people. So as much as, you know, you're weary when you hear Gabby say something, um, you know, I got to defend her on this point. You and Trisha definitely had some form of friendly relationship. And I don't blame, I don't blame if somebody is being fake <laughs> and Trisha's really good at being fake. I don't blame the other person for not picking up on it. Okay. So number three. Trisha claims to have no knowledge of Gabby being physically assaulted by rice gum, but has brought it up multiple times in the past. Yeah, she does this a lot. This is like a pattern of behavior for her. She pretends she doesn't know something. And then the rice gum thing, which, I mean, I don't like want to rehash yeah, it or yeah. like restart drama, but like, uh, what the fuck was that? I don't remember any of that. Like I, I remember like the like a, the thing. But I don't remember like any of it. I was so. It was just basically like he made a, a video or two about okay, me. Okay, you don't um, remember. And then in person on Snapchat. Man, was, what's it like to be this type of person? Where like anything and everything, you just say, "Oh, I would never do that." Okay, if I did, I don't remember. Like, what's it like to just not remember anything? Like, Yo, let's rap battle right now. At the now. most convenient time. Yeah. And then he. He said no. And I was like, what? Your ghostwriter's not here? Like, joking around. Because he had already nervous. said, like, I have a big it's nose. I still joke. Like, just he made these videos, like, really inflammatory about me. So I thought it was fine. Jesus. And then he held me down, yanked my phone from my hand, and broke my phone. Oh, Jesus. That's if you, aggressive. like, watch the the interviews, it That's starts. so weird. She's acting like it's the first time she's hearing it. How do you do that, bruh? I wish I could do that. Oh, really? Oh, no. Oh, wow. We did not see that coming. Like, <laughs> this is Trisha right now. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you watch uh, Willy Wonka and the... Excuse me. Is it Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? What is this? Oh. Yeah, don't... These random people calling me, child. I was like, what is that noise? Anyway, um, I think it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, when you watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, even if you watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I'm differentiating between the one with Gene and the one with Depp, Johnny Depp. And the kids like lick the blueberry or lick, lick the chocolate stream and just like, Oh no. Whatever shall we do? 
<laughs> that's such a gift with i didn't fucking touch her to like yeah like of course i had to touch her to take her phone and Ooh. then it turned into yeah in this situation listen i don't i'm i'm not a gabby fan and when she came out with that that video with her in the bathtub and she's like life sucks anyway f it f it and all these commentary channels were like the song is actually really good i'm like what is wrong with y'all what do you mean the song is good this <laughs> what okay just go off gabby hannah like literally record yourself in your bathtub singing random made up in your head tunes P apparently there's an audience for it even your haters think your your stuff is good but i actually do like gabby hannah's like actual produced music <laughs> I was just like, what do y'all mean her little bathtub song sounds good? Okay, then buy it. But anyway, I am i don't like Gabby Hanna. I think she, she tries to manipulate people. I think she tries to twist reality to fit her narrative so that she can make sure she looks as good as possible. I don't like the way she's treated important people in her life I don't I don't like her I don't like what she's done rather I could see Gabby being a cool person to know I just wouldn't get too close maybe maybe similar thing with Trisha but there are some things where I have to defend Gabby and this rice gum thing is one of them rice gum you were in the wrong and that was such a dumb, that was, that was so dumb that it was even a drama that was prolonged and he made a diss track on her about it. Like, dude, you, that's not cool. Like, even though she was in his face and, or being annoying that, that you don't, you don't take somebody's phone and break it. I don't know. I just, I just, I just think that was wrong. Too, I mean, obviously it's her phone. She's not gonna give it very easily, so I had to wrestle her a little bit to get it. But like, what the fuck? I don't remember this at yeah, all, dude. Sense. It was really crazy. It was really yeah. that's fucked up. I don't know. I got reason. Well, maybe I won't research it. But I, that's interesting. I didn't know that. But yes, you did know that, Trisha. Yeah, I, I definitely had it all saved. Ew. People, like, I also did file a, a police report about it fuck. because I mean, he broke my phone and had marks on my body. How like, come that wasn't big? Was it big? Maybe I was just so out of it. A man, a six foot, whatever the fuck man. You can yeah. tell, you can tell Trisha's lying. Remember in one of my other reaction videos, I was like, yo, you can hear when she's lying or when she's lying and putting on that fake persona. She has, a, that fake persona is in full force Down right now. I broke my fucking phone because I asked him to rap That's battle crazy. and I'm the bad guy. Like, That's it's crazy. Because well, I haven't you, heard about it. I just you were the bad guy, Gabby. Like... You you were the bad guy, and then Rice Gum retaliated in a way that made him a worser guy. Yes, I said worser. I thought it was like an online because <laughs> I mentioned it once, and I was like, oh, and the rap battle sucked. It several I, didn't times. Even it was. I had no idea what you did. I didn't know it was that. That's fucking weird. I thought you guys were like went back and forth with like a rap or something online. Lie on you yourself. Fake. Like do your own drama. You know, like say people scratch you over a phone. Whatever the case is, don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Like you lie. All of Gabby's dramas. Like her thing with like rice gum, which was like proven lies and. Girl, I don't even know about this tweet. <laughs> okay, Trisha claims it's been years since she trolled. Oh no, girl, you trolling now. You trolling in 2021, baby. Trisha trolling. Like me, people just like, she hurts so many people. I was just like, Jesus Christ. Like it's been like years since I've like trolled, but it's just your MO. You're trolling right now. Yeah, you admitted to trolling with this alters thing. Okay, it says she has no friends, but has previously spoke of friends she's known for 10 plus years. I mean, is it self-deprecating humor? Let's see this. I have no friends, so I can't relate. Yes, you do. Uh, who? Yeah, it's always been that way. I only have one friend in my life because I trust Whatever, nobody. Girl. Addicted to pills. And I've had friends for a very long time. I have friendships that have lasted well over 10 years and I'm still friends with Andrew, Jeffrey Michael. Star just 
Trisha implies she doesn't want to talk about Shane in the podcast, but then says it was Gabby who objected. Okay, let's see. People love to, it's kind of like this, like what you were saying, but on a bigger scale, people like, it's cool to hate Jeffrey sometimes. So they, and that's what I didn't want this to be is like people, cause I, this, my issue was this last year. I did not want people to like, be like, fuck Shane. You know, he's also this and he's also that. Like this was my own issue and it had nothing to do with their allegations. Um, we did talk about Shane and stuff and I, I'll just, I won't go into her, what her stories were, but she's like, I don't want to talk about any of this on the podcast, which to me, and she's like, she told me, and I believe her, obviously, I'm not like accusing her online, that she wasn't even caught up with like, she didn't even know like the severity of the drama I, I was in at the time. Cause this was, this was a few days after the Shane and stuff. And that was totally fine to not talk about that because I, I was, but it was, it was, it did, we talked so much about that at the beginning and it was so nice to like hear confirmation and validation and like someone else went through the same thing and like just other stuff he said about me and I was like oh fuck I wish like someone would say this that was like I had this account there um and she wasn't she didn't want to she didn't want to bring that drama back. okay so this channel has more stuff let's check it out um because these contradictions honey these are so interesting okay let's see Trisha my point is a lot of people trans. are transphobic me coming out transgender is not going to help my dating life it's not going to why would why would i put that on myself to hurt i'm trying to date i'm trying to get married why would i put that out there just so people can look up that i'm a transgender if i truly don't believe that to say i'm transgender like how does that help me at the time date Trisha says coming out the video is helping dating life how are your dms are you getting a lot of dms getting like a lot of people DMs. trying to date now are they yes Actually, I've got a lot of people who are down to date and um, of all types of life. And as as a sex sexually, I'm open to everything and anything. So anybody who wants to date me as as I am, then that's that's. So this video is now helping your dating life. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. I honestly thought it would hurt it because I'm like, oh, like people are gonna see this and like, you know, they get some people get scared and shook, and but then some people get turned on by it. Any so. dates? <laughs> any dates set up already? Um, I don't know if it's a date, but I'm going over to someone's house tonight. Yeah, oh. I don't know if it's a date. Okay. But he reached out and was really cool about it. So yeah. uh, we'll see. It's a it's called a sneak link. Don't care about what the other think. Uh uh uh. So I'm a sneak link. Uh, I'll be your sneak link. <laughs> um, My point is, a lot of people are transphobic. Me coming out trans. Well, that's interesting. Um, that was interesting. I did give that a thumbs up when I first saw that. Let's see. Trisha Paytas asks for privacy after refusing it to Gila Klein. We will. Anytime someone has asked me, sorry, I'm like shaking, asked me to stop, I will I will stop talking about them. You don't. Mm -mm. That's a lie. That's Talk about Gila. We're cutting this part out. She doesn't want to be talked about. Are you fucking serious? I'm serious. We have to cut See how mad she got? She's that's so, fucking she's crazy. so offended. Like, what's even the point? She's the one we talked about. Because she doesn't like that you're always bringing her up and saying how she, she doesn't like you and all this shit because it's not true and she finds it annoying because she doesn't want people to start thinking that, like, she doesn't actually like you. Well, she doesn't. Well, she doesn't. well whatever. Just cut it out then. She, I'm serious. <laughs> I'll talk about it in mine. I don't care because that's so bullshit. I'm going to stop talking about my personal life altogether then, too. That's so annoying. This, oh, you shouldn't uh, even like mention her. <laughs> like how they put we their, mentioned her last episode. They put because you marks. <laughs> That's so annoying. So fake. It's so bullshit. It's like, oh, let's talk about everything. Gila asked life. not to be included, oh, and I'm okay. respecting her request. Mm, then I'm not talking about anything personal anymore. Mm. Like, why is she using that as a retaliation? And you're like, Pe cut that. We can't talk about her. Oh, okay. She's too fucking good for this podcast. Cool. Love that. <sighs> well, she didn't say that. Nobody I said that. Care. Cut it all out. Who cares? I just keep on with this. Keep oh, like, Elon says, don't talk about me on the podcast. All I said was, you should have the guest. He's like, we can't mention Elon. She doesn't want me to talk about, oh, she's okay. too good for our fucking podcast. Even though we were talking about, they never so once insulted it. me. I said it's a She has a fucking podcast. I brought life to the fucking HR channel, but oh, Elon's too fucking good to even mention her name. I said nothing bad. I said like, oh, we should have her as a guest or whatever. Like that, don't no. even mention Elon. She doesn't want me to be talked no. about. Fucking Okay. I literally don't care. Literally, I don't want to come back because I really fucking hate her. Okay, so, so if you hate her, that might be a reason why she doesn't want to be discussed on the Frenemies podcast. The hell? <laughs> but when somebody says to stop, you stop, right? She she always. I 
podcast and you're like, don't fucking mention Ela. She's the one I'm talking about. Oh, a fucking queen. You guys can talk about my shit all the time. It's but her don't. Yeah, why is she? She takes it as a personal assault that. Okay, if there's something you don't want discussed on the podcast, then let it be known and then don't don't talk about it on the podcast. You have the same she had the same rights to privacy as Ela, who's not even on this podcast. It's crazy to me how she took that to be somebody saying they don't want to be on the podcast. They're taking that as a like a personal attack. Don't fucking mention her name, dumb fucking bitch. Okay. Yeah, bro. And, and if you're calling the 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 disrespect on the on their marriage is just incredible to me. Like. Like, that's just incredible. Like, I just, mm -mm. because if that was me, if I was Hila and I'm, and my husband is doing a podcast with this person who is calling me a dumb effing B word that she, she hates. Um, yeah, I'm having a word with my husband. When, when the, when the lights are off, it's like, um, excuse you, sir. Excuse you. So your co-host said, what about me today? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I think so, too. Wow. I mean, the clients are quite forgiving because that you would have to do a lot. You'd have to do some. I don't know. You'd have to jump through some hoops for me to forgive you for saying that on my husband's podcast. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not even there. Oh my God, girl. Okay, Trisha Paytas trashing fiance Moses' 23 year old victim. Okay, Moses. Uh, this person edits like me. Th this person don't do no fancy splice, copy, paste. This person says, screen record. Here's the text. Here's a notepad. Read, <laughs> read the text. <laughs> Okay, Illuminati, you and I like the same. <laughs> Moses was recently accused of stealthing a 23-year-old girl, a 23-year-old woman, shall we say, lady, person, um, that he was involved with before Trisha. For those who don't know, stealthing is an act of removing a during knocking boots without the other person's knowledge. Big now, now. Ladies, be careful. Fellas, be careful. Girl, you know you better watch out. Boys, you know you gotta look out. In this video, Trisha claimed, I'm getting, this is like reinvigorating me. Okay, I'm going to be ready for my Zoom call. I'm going to be, by the time we finish this video, I will be ready for my Zoom call. In this video, Trisha claims to have always had sympathy for this young woman, claiming she never believed the woman was, I just, I, it's so weird, right? I mean, yeah, 23, you're young, so we'll call you a girl, but it just feels weird to say woman. And I was like, yeah, when you're 23, you are a woman. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I've been chewing on that lately. I've been chewing on how do, how we use the words guys, men, boys, dude, women, girls, chicks, ladies. I don't know. I don't know where my brain is going with that, but I've been thinking about that for like the past two weeks, been chewing on this usage of the terms. Claiming she never believed the woman was at fault and always felt bad for her and understood her. However, an older episode of, Fr see, they, they going off the cuff. See them typing? They going off the cuff. However, an older episode of Frenemies tells a very different story. Well, let me make this bigger for y'all.
saying the stuff that happened before me, I, I'm not going to comment on. Moses has commented on it, and I, I can't comment on that stuff. But this person who I just am just talking about, and I have sympathy and empathy. I understand when a situation doesn't work out and you like wish it would. You know, I, I would see the text and I could, I could feel the pain. Like, why are you with Trisha? She's this, this, and this. Why are you not with me? Why won't you give me a chance? Why are you giving me, you know, and I, could, I understood that. I understood it, you know. Um. Okay, you understood it. You know how it feels. Part of like, I already spoke my piece about this. I've already said it. People, you know, I'm not hypocritical. Like I do think I, this is the very reason why someone who's 23, 24, 25 should not be in a relationship. And, and vice versa. And I'm telling you, I, like, do you know what I mean? This is why I preach it so hard. But because you don't preach it, you don't preach it so the hard because it's just not there. No, no, no. You don't and preach again, it so hard. This why is this person? not pausing? You don't preach it so hard. You actually don't. The only time you preached it so hard was when it was Keemstar, somebody that you don't like. But when it's your soon to be husband, you silent and victim blame me as heck. No, you don't preach it so much, actually. Because when you're accused of doing the thing that you're saying that you preach against, you silent. When your fiance did what you preach against, you not only you silent, but you say that chick's a liar. Uh uh, no. It's fault, but it. Mm mm. Bring the receipts. Dude, I know we don't talk, but <laughs> Moses is disgusting. I have no intention of making anything about this, but maybe check him talking to your fans. Bang. This. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. Okay. This is from a fat piece of shit fan of yours who is 23 and he fucked on Valentine's <gasps> Day. Don't he say is all disgusting. Yeah, 23. <laughs> I said 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. First of all, don't read this because you. You better call all this for real. That is the psycho. Just don't. Well, fuck her then. No. I don't know. Oh, but that, you got baited. Is that her? And then so, is that but my person? point is, but is she's that an actual psycho. Okay, fine. Who cares? Fuck house. her. She's a. She showed up at the house. Girl. Hold up. No, no, no. You cheat. Mm -mm. I need to know more about that situation. She showed up at y'all's house? Hold up. By the way, Benny, this Benny chick, her music is too good. Her music is too good. I was jamming to that when I was in my case session earlier. I was jamming to Benny. Uh huh, no, baby. No, 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 Benny, baby, you need a cosign. Somebody needs to get on the track with Benny. Shoot, Tiger Dollar sign, somebody. Doja, Doja Cat, get on the track with Benny, please. Somebody need to boost her. She needs to be more famous. Okay, let's see the next clip. I want more. I want to know more about that Moses thing. I want to know more about that. What? Okay, Trisha Paytas exposed by Courtney Stodden for bullying. Yeah. Yeah, Courtney Stodden. We know the situation. This is what inspired. Yes. This is what inspired Trisha to make that really horrible apology in the car where she's looking off into the distance. Oh, whispers in the wind. Yeah, because Courtney... This this is Trisha mocking Courtney Sodden. With your prepubescent body. <laughs> Gross. And, you know, she wrote about how, you know, this is not a joke. What I went through was not a joke. You know, she was humiliated internationally. Um This is not a joke. And somebody somebody left a comment in one of my videos saying that I'm misrepresenting this Courtney Sodden situation. That people thought she's older than what she said she was. That nobody believed that she was sixteen. Nobody believed that she was seventeen. She, don't even come. Don't even come with that, because people were like going, like digging through her stuff, like looking up birth certificates, and people and and every interview over and over, they were saying you're seventeen, you're sixteen. When she went on that show for them to do a mammogram to see if her breasts is real they said well you're 17 like don't even pl like mm -mm, don't play that don't play that oh people didn't know her age people didn't believe that she was 17 16 you need to know people knew stop people don't care people didn't care this is the same era where people are dogging britney spears for 
having a boyfriend named Justin Timberlake and it not working out. So she dumps him. Like this is the same era where people are literally trying to hate on a teenage chick for no longer being in a relationship that wasn't working for both of them. This is the same, this is the same era where a, a woman becomes famous when she's 17 and when she's 19, her breasts are a little bit bigger and y'all are questioning her in every interview. Did you get implants? You did it to Courtney Stodden and you did it to Britney Spears and you can't tell me. Oh, nobody believed that Britney Spears was only 18. Shut up. Everybody knew Britney, everybody knew Britney Spears' age. That's why people were so, um, upset with her hit me baby one more time music video where she was dressed as a schoolgirl because they're like well she actually is a schoolgirl. she's school age and it's not appropriate so don't even play with me don't don't even play with me talking about oh nobody knew that courtney sodden was a teenager stop but this is what inspired trisha paytas to apologize not not videos like mine, not people asking her to be accountable, but Courtney Stodden, the only freaking celebrity who remembers Trisha's name and gave a damn about her. And she felt bad. And Trisha felt so bad that she couldn't even read Courtney Stodden's entire uh, post. She didn't even read it. She didn't even, she didn't even get down to the part where Courtney is talking about how it really made her feel and how embarrassing it is. Mm, that, that one makes me hot. Okay. Petty Page. Oh, uh, let's not get on to Petty Page. The Petty Page is for a different video. Honey child. <laughs> I'm like, Petty Page. You can even see my comment. You can even see my comment. That I'm like, girl, did you just bet? Mm-mm. That's a mm. But that's that's for a different video. Okay. Trisha paid this line about Las drogas. Crazy back then. <laughs> Me doing YouTube videos. Honestly, I don't remember. I was probably fucked up. Yeah, I was crazy Completely back then. not sober ever. <laughs> really? You weren't sober ever in your videos? No. Okay, okay. maybe just a joke. No, I, I had a bad drug addiction from like 19 to like 22. Then I was clean for like five years. And then mm. I like just did it occasionally. But um, it, yeah, I'm not really that person. Yeah, that's and contradictory. Then that's that's a contradiction. Okay, maybe she maybe maybe she was just maybe she was just she went to hospital, and then I still was using through February through May, and May eighth was the last day. And it, and if anything, I could accredit May you to my sobriety because that's when day. I stopped oh, using drugs. So. Cold, yeah. That was the last time I did drugs. I tried. We tried to do Molly, and I was so sick. I was like, well, I'm, on his birthday, I was like, well, this is awful. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, puke, so. I don't what's wrong with me i can't do drugs anymore which is good honestly been sober since december so oh december yeah the contradictions i mean girl but when it comes to using las drogas listen it that's a struggle okay so somebody can say that they're sober Look at Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato made a whole ass documentary talking about I'm sober. Thanks, everybody. But actually, she was using the addiction. Addiction is a different beast. That's a whole nother beast that we don't even have time to get into, honey. That's a whole nother beast. But yes, Trisha lying about the usage and I think that's t that's that's not uncommon. It's not uncommon for people struggling with this issue to lie to themselves. They lie to themselves and they think they can stop. And Lord, that's a different one. I'm not well equipped right now to go into it now. Proof Trisha paid this lied about Ethan Klein. I feel like I apologize readily when I'm wrong. I'm sorry for calling you crazy. I That's know this offensive. is went off the rails. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, yeah. I don't apologize he for anything. Never apologizes. You. That's okay. Because I, 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 I thought I, I thought we miserable. were I thought we were goofing on each other mm. kind of thing, but but I genuinely mm. I I'm sorry for saying that. I'm I'm Ethan I'm never genuine. apologizes. I have, I have a lot to apologize for for sure. Ethan never yeah. apologizes. No, apologize. Yeah, oh. I am sorry. I didn't like the way. Wow, she that admitted the it here. And that I felt really bad. I w I don't think Yo, that you are on. a person who should. So yeah, I do apologize. A liter literally another minute of Ethan Klein apologizing. So I think we get it. 
she she says things out of out of her mind, out of her mouth, without actually thinking. And and what and what makes people really mad is like, can't you just take some of it? Can't you take something back? Okay, and after after doing this so many times, can you just like stop saying things that you know you're gonna have to take back? It's annoying. Trisha pay this line about comedian Louis C.K. Uh, Louis C.K. I don't. I'm I'm a fan of Louis C.K. So I'm worse than him. Yeah. Okay. yeah you don't have a problem with what he did to women. Uh, what did he do? I don't oh, know. he like jerked off in front of women and stood in front of the door so they couldn't escape. And they weren't about it. No. I kind of like when guys jerk. I like a role play. I don't know the situation, so I'm not speaking it on this one. You actually no, no, she no knows he was he would go into a room and be like, "Hey, can I jerk off in front of you?" And then he would just whip it out and start jerking. Mm, but okay, I'm not defending him. I'm not going to try and defend him. I'm just saying, like when I was like, "Is the pizza here?" She's not I, defending him because she actually knows the situation. I fucked up with people. If I was like sleeping, I'd be like, "You can fuck no, me when yet. I'm sleeping." Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but you gave him. Okay, well, regardless, Sometimes let's you can uh, give permission ahead of time. <laughs> I don't think Louis C.K. Which, you know, I don't know, permission ahead of time is not, that's not the situation with Louis C.K. And you know it. You were just trying to sound sensational for the podcast. You were just trying to up the ante for the views for the podcast. Hey, like jizzing all over girls was funny either. No, it was horrible. But wasn't that in his comedy bit or something? Wasn't that the shock factor of him? But I don't think people knew that he actually was doing that. You know what I mean? I thought he like had jokes about it. Yeah, he did, but people didn't know at the time that he was actually doing it. Doing I knew that. I knew. You, you knew. Did? I knew before it ever came out. For real, I'm not you just saying that. Like before I it even knew. came out, you know. But you go on his podcast and I like you don't even know the situation. I know someone personally. Hmm. I, I said too much. I don't want to like go into more into it because I feel like I'm going to get super well, hit now. Everybody already knows, so it's not like the cat's out of the bag, right? <laughs> I All have right. more information on Louis C.K. though. We'll see you next. I'm sure you do. Who knows, girl? Who knows what, 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 what you say, what you mean? So this is why I feel like you know, there's just certain times where Trisha has on a mask, and it's n and we're not talking to the real Trisha. We're talking to fake, like fake Trisha, like mannequin. Do it for the gram. Do it for the clout. <laughs> Barbie, fake Trisha. Okay, one more. And then I'm going to get ready for my I've movie. literally like been like the voices in my head for so long. They're worse than the voices on the internet. So like I can take it. You know what I mean? Like I've been hearing like shit talking in my head since I was like five years old. So I'm mm. like, oh, this is like nothing. Mm. My own voices are like, you're an idiot. You're fat. <laughs> the internet is like whatever. Seriously, sometimes I don't know. Like I've been hearing voices in my head lately, and I'm just like, "Oh, are those me or are those something else?" It's really scary because, like, I never had those before. Like up until like a few years ago, I never had them, mm. okay. and then they kind of went away for a little bit. And now they're like back in full force, which is so weird. Cause I'm like so happy. Like I really mm. am so happy in life. So it's like so odd that those voices come up. You're just like, what, what is she talking about? When she's talking about these voices, I want to know what's the real thing that she's actually talking about because. She there's also another video that that shows where she she fill out some forms for some reality TV thing. And in one podcast, she says, yeah, I, I said that I hear voices and they said they can't get on their show because I hear voices. And then on another podcast, she says, no, I literally just randomly pick stuff and I didn't even realize that I, I picked that I hear voices. So they said I can't be on the show. I, I, so I want to know, like. I wish I had a, some semblance of understanding of what is she really talking about? Did she, did she ever hear voices or she never heard anything? Is she talking about her intrusive thoughts? So curious. Like, bruh, the mind of Trisha Paytas is so interesting. Let's see the comments. If anybody has some insight. This person put on antipsychotics. Oh yeah. Um She researched schizophrenia and what comes with it so she could lie about it. Did the same with DID. <sighs> Dang. Intrusive thoughts and voices are very different. Yeah, I'm wondering if she if she just means like her intrusive thoughts. Cause that can make you that can make your head spin.
Honestly, this channel is pretty disgusting doing this. I wonder why. Why do you feel that way? Is it disgusting to show her contradictions? I don't know. Some people feel like we're, you know, this is a mentally ill person that we're exploiting, but I don't see it that way. I think it's totally fine to show, not even making commentary. You're showing where she says one thing and then she says something completely different. Like in in the appropriate time frame. I think it's important for people for this stuff to be out there because people should know. Every day she's getting new subscribers and those people should be aware, hey, the person you're subscribing to has a track record of duplicity. It's important. It's good to know. It's good to know because Trisha Paytas is an influencer. She influences people. People make decisions based on what she does. People like things based on if she likes it or not. And I think just having this out there is really important. Um, we were all mad that Mysterious T deleted her videos on Trisha. She's put it back up now. Um, but yeah, I think especially if Trisha's going to still be in this space, in this YouTube space, then definitely people can show, hey, she's saying one thing, but she might mean another because here's what she stated publicly before. I want that person, I wish that person, I'll have to, I'll look off camera. I want to know that person's rationale. Why do you feel like this is disgusting? I don't think so. I don't think it's disgusting at all. Um, so thanks for sobering up with me. If you vibe with me, then click the subscribe button. Um, my content is changing all the time. I'm really experimenting with what I'm doing here. But if you like me, then let's grow together. I've kind of been building a parasocial relationship with some of you folk, and it's really cool. It's just so cool. This is like, ah, what I've wanted my whole life. Ever since I had the internet, this is what I've wanted. So finally, finally able to start building on it and having fun and learning a lot. You want to learn with me? Subscribe. And if you like this video, like it and leave your comments in this, in the, in the space below. So I know you exist and I know what you think until next time. Much love, much luck. Peace out.